Hello, my good, good friends. It's just going to be a quick one this time. Uh, it, it's just going to be a little response to a very short Ben Shapiro video where he is reacting to Demi Lovato coming out as non-binary. Now, I've watched a little bit of this video, but I stopped it because I thought, what, a, what an excellent uh, video to respond to because Ben Shapiro is, uh, well, he's either stupid or he's lying. And I think we're going to be able to figure out which one it is. In very, very important news, Demi Lovato has come out as non-binary, which is to say Demi Lovato is exactly the same person that she was three days ago. <laughs> I, I can't believe it, but I do actually agree with Ben Shapiro on something. Demi Lovato is exactly the same person as she was three days ago. Good job, Ben. You are so close to getting it. Just now Demi Lovato says that she wants to be called they, them, which is weird because she's not separated into more than one human. Oh, oh my God, what is wrong with this man's brain? He is just the, the worst person. He's the worst type of person to have this type of platform on the internet and just seeks to keep his credulous, bigoted audience. Over the past year and a half, I've been doing some healing and self-reflective work. And through this work, I've had the revelation that I identify as non-binary. With that said, I'll officially be changing my pronouns to they, them. I feel that this best officially. represents the fluidity I feel in my gender expression and allows me to feel most authentic and true to the person I both know I am and still am discovering. Let's just be straight about this. This has nothing to do with reality. This has to do with subjective self-perception. Does Ben think that people don't exist in, in reality? He says this has nothing to do with your reality. It's just your subjective self-perception. Yeah, Ben, that's what identity is. And Ben considers himself Jewish. And that is self-perception because there are other people out there that might say, hey, he doesn't meet my standards for being a Jew. So is that wrong? You can't officially change your pronouns because there is no box that you check that you have officially now changed your pronouns. Now, this to me is wonderful. This kind of pedantry, this petty, semantic bullshit is exactly what people do when they don't have an argument. And you can see now exactly what his uh, purpose is with this video. It's garnering outrage, it's getting attention, it's getting clicks because he is a new media entrepreneur. He doesn't actually care about any of this stuff. He has the facade of being a conservative, but at the end of the day, you know, this cool kids philosopher is just in it for the money. Even if there, there were, this would not change the realities on the ground, which is that you are not a plural human being, nor are you quote unquote non-binary. You can't just decide that you're non-binary one day. So that's it. That's the entirety of Ben's clip. Uh, it's basically him doing the old man yells at sky routine. Something is new and different and scary, and he needs to, uh, you know, comfort and assure his audience whose ontological views are being challenged by a female presenting person saying that they're, they're non-binary and that the way that they experience the world and that they the way that they interact with it and with their own gender doesn't conform to what society has for a long time maintained. At this point, Ben Shapiro has become a meme of himself from the, you know, saying that people affected by climate change is going to sell their flooded houses to getting owned by that very middle of the road conservative on a British news channel. He is the definition of a grifter. And I hope he never changes because he is, you know, clearly somewhat intelligent. And at the end of his life, he's going to have to look back and assess, critically assess what he has done, what he has put out into the world and what actual impact he's had. And I hope he feels shame. I really want to thank all of the people that are signing up to my Patreon. It's super motivating to know that people are hooking into what I'm creating and it's driving me to get more involved. And I will say that I'm about to revamp the Patreon tiers and all of the perks there. So if you want to get in on the ground floor, that's patreon.com forward slash only dog on the left. Now, speaking of patrons, I want to give a great big thank you to those in Puppy Preschool, which is extremely online left, and Ben Snow. My guard doggos are Jordan Mark, Ben Davis, and Tristan Hennessy. And to A. Zeitlow, Dangwin, and Jackson Orville, you are very good boys. They're based on feelings, not facts. I'm not your gender studies professor who has to cater to your trigger warning, microaggression, safe space bullshit. Most women are happier at home. Clean up your room. Organize your local landscape. Schedule your time. And I start to, to say that my brain is still in recovery mode from taking in so many high-level important ideas. Yes.